By 1969, the Beatles were pretty well going their separate ways, whether it was the drug use or artistic differences, or one seriously buttonsky girlfriend, by 1970, the Beatles were officially broken up. Pretty amazing when you think about the fact that they were together for only 10 years and completely revolutionized popular music. So now it's time for the official Where, Where Are They, they now? now portion of the show. Each of the Fab Four went on to have solo careers and wrote some really great songs and even occasionally sang or played on each other's records. But then tragedy would strike in 1980 when John Lennon was shot and killed and that whole thing was just pretty messed up. George Harrison died from cancer in 2001, but Ringo Starr and Paul McCartney continued to tour the world and bring joy to millions of people, which is sort of funny since for a long time people believed that Paul was actually dead. And if you want to hear that long story, find someone after the show that is older than 55. But anyway, the Beatles broke up, which was a very big deal. But the really cool thing about the Beatles after they broke up is that suddenly everyone realized that this was some of the greatest pop music like ever. And so everybody started playing it. And so today, everyone from a symphony orchestra to a club band knows at least one cover of a Beatles song because all those kids from back in the 60s who are like really old now still go crazy when they hear it, and so do the kids today. I guess it's like Lennon and McCartney said, and in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. That line comes from the last song they recorded together as a group, a song called The End. And that's where I am with this history, at the end. But one more thing, if you want to sing along with Hey Jude, please feel free. And if not, you can just let it be.